Welcome to Cutting It Close, a channel where we talk woodworking technology, a little bit of business, and make some cool projects. And in today's video, we're going to go over whether a CNC or a laser engraver is right for you. Now during the video, I'm going to go over five different things that really I looked at and you need to be looking at when evaluating which one is right for you. And those five things are cost, space, skill level, versatility, and really the overall aspect of the machine. So throughout this video, I'm going to be going over those five things and I hope this is very informational for you. So without further ado, let's go over the initial cost. So before I go into cost, I want to give my background and experience on this subject matter. Now I own four CNC's with a fifth on the way, anywhere from a hobbyist to industrial level CNC, and I also own an industrial sized laser engraver as well. So I have a pretty broad range of experience on this subject, um, on these topics that I actually evaluated myself. And so the five things we're going over today is what I go through whenever I make a decision on whether to buy a laser engraver or to buy a CNC. So with that being said, let's look at cost. Now, the first cost is you're going to be your initial cost. And the second cost we're going to look at is ongoing cost. So on a laser engraver or a CNC, your initial cost is going to be a very wide range, whether you're getting a $200 laser engraver or CNC, they're out there, whether you're getting a $500 one, $1,000 one, $5,000 one, $50,000 one, um, the initial cost is really about the same to get into them. Now, if you want to get into a CNC, um, CNC or laser engraver to actually make money, like real money as a, not just a side hustle, as a separate business, you're going to be looking around, I would say, in the $6,000 to $15,000 range minimum to get into it as a full-time job. Now, if you're looking at an industrial size laser, an industrial size laser engraver is probably around $45,000, $50,000. An industrial size CNC ranges from $60,000 to $250,000. And then if you're really just trying to mark some stuff and not trying to make a lot of money with it, then you can easily get into a CNC or laser engraver for under $1,000, just depending on the brand you get. Now, ongoing cost is a major factor that people don't really think about when getting into laser engravings or CNC. Um, and to me personally, lasers engravers do not have that much of an ongoing cost. They Maybe a, a lens breaks, maybe a tube breaks every now and then, but nothing really major happens with a laser engraver. But what they don't tell you whenever you buy one is you're going to have to replace a CO2 cartridge maybe after 2,000 hours of use, 1,000 hours of use later on. And that cost is typically 5 to 10% of the cost of the machine. Um, so for instance, my $45,000 laser engraver, I have to replace the tube um, in about another 500 hours and it's gonna cost me $3,000 to replace that tube. So I haven't really did any repairs to it, hadn't put any more money into it, but now after 2,000 hours of use, I have to actually put in $3,000 into that laser. Now a CNC on the other hand, you don't have that big lump sum you're gonna to have to pay after 2,000 hours of use, right? You are constantly going to have to be paying for um, bits and um, you know just regular grease and stuff like that to keep the machine running well. So on a laser engraver, you're going to have one big cost coming in a couple years after you purchase it. And with a CNC, you're going to have little cost over time from bits and wear and tear um, that are going to plague you throughout the whole process of learning the machine. So that is the initial and ongoing cost of a laser and a CNC. Now let's go over the space it takes. So whenever it comes to space, you're going to have the CNC and the laser. And a CNC machine is typically going to take up a lot more space uh, in your home, in your garage, in your workshop. Whereas a laser, you know, people can put those in their kitchen, they can put those in their pantry for, for all I care, right? Because it's typically a very small space is what a laser takes up. Uh, where a CNC can range from a, you know, a footprint, let's say, a two foot by three foot footprint all the way up to a five foot by ten foot footprint like the industrial CNC's. 
Um, and also, along with the CNC, you're going to have dust collection you're going to have to have, and then a space for your a lot of your projects, etc. right? So the CNC is going to have a lot more space it's going to use up. Typically, you're going to have to have them in your garage and almost a dedicated space in your garage for a CNC. Whereas a laser engraver, depending on the model you get, you know, you can almost keep it inside the house because it, you know, it can't really get a lot of dust to it. Where a CNC makes a lot of dust, laser doesn't like dust. So you're going to have to keep it either inside or a dedicated place in your garage. But with that being said, it's still going to take up a lot less space. Now, depending on the laser you get, some take, some have to have exhaust systems which pretty much are dust collectors, but for a laser engraver, right? So it's really the, the same on dust collection, but just know that CNC's are typically going to take up a lot more space. So if you're very limited on space, if you're in a studio apartment, something like that, a CNC is not going to be a good route for you. I would go with the laser. Next, let's talk about the skill level. So we're going to look at the laser and the CNC, and I'm going to break the skill levels down into two categories computer programming skills or computer technology skills and actual practical machining skills. As for the laser, you know, your computer skills need to be relatively high, but you know, they don't have to start high, right? All you need to know is basic, maybe Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw. Um, some basic graphic design is really all you need to know um, to be able to operate the laser as far as program the laser and stuff like that, right? You can dabble in graphics, etc where machining skills, you only have two variables. You have speed and you have power. So the speed at which the laser travels and the power of the laser. Other than that, the laser pretty much tells you what speeds to cut stuff with. You can look it up online. Um, it's not too complicated. So I would say the more heavy on mach computer skills and you need to be less, less good on practical machining skills. So this can be higher, this can be lower, and you can operate a laser. Now, as far as CNC, I would say, you know, CNCs take usually a vector type program where, you know, you need to be able to understand um, dimensions and how a vector is, what a vector program is, etc. So your computer skills really almost need to be the same as a laser engraver computer skills. Um, you know, so it, that's, that one's really about even, but on the machining practicality, um, and that skill level, there's so many different variables that come in with the CNC, right? Not only do you have the speed, um, just like the laser, right? You have the speed. Um, that is called feed rate in, a CN in the CNC world. So you have feed rate, you have power, so how powerful is your CNC. You have chip load, so you're making sure you're running it at the correct chip load when you're using that um, thing. Which kind of bit do you have in? Which material are you cutting? There's so many more variables. So with laser, you're only going to have two variables. With the CNC, you're probably going to have five, six, seven variables. You're going to have to look at one, look at at one time. Um, is your dust collection good enough, right? There's, so there's so many more different variables with the CNC. So as far as skill level goes, I think just to get into either CNC machining or laser engraving, the laser comes in at a much, you need a much lower skill set in order to at least function with the laser engraver. Whereas with the CNC, there's a lot more variables, so you're gonna have to have a higher amount of skill um, and maybe a, a, that kind of mindset to be able to use a CNC. Now let's go over the versatility of the machine. So now we're gonna go on to the versatility of a laser and a CNC. Now, overall, they're very versatile in what they can do, and they can make a lot of different products but what type of products you're wanting to make will determine kind of what machine you're going to go into, right? So uh, where they do tie at, so we have a laser, both of them can engrave. Though it's different types of engravings, both can technically mark and etch on um, items. Now a laser, you're typically going to be working with a lot smaller items. Maybe, you know, a um, keychain, right? Um, maybe you can work with leather. So on this, you're going to be able to, with the laser, you're going to be able to work with a lot different types of material. So maybe, you know, like I said, leather, acrylic, paper, um, different types of engravable plastics, etc. Uh, maybe you can even, you know, get mugs and glasses and stuff like that. So the range of materials you can work with on a laser is a very wide range. Um, 
And you know, typically, it's, like I said, it's going to be smaller, maybe thinner type material. Whereas a CNC, now you can do, once again, the same engravings, um, but now you can start cutting out a lot bigger projects. You can start doing 3D machining, which a laser engraver, will, engraver is really not capable of. Um, so you have the added benefit of being able to doing 3D machining. Um, now you're cutting out bigger parts, working with thicker material, um, and the material you work with typically is going to be wood or plastic, high density polyethylene, HDPE, um, acrylic, etc. But I would say overall versatility, it just really depends what market you're going to want to go into. I mean, the laser, you got a lot of marking and a lot of etching and a lot of um, burning type engravings and some cutting. With the CNC, you're going to be doing some cutting as well. You're going to be doing some depth engraving. So with the V-bit, right, you're going to be able to get in there very deep and you're going to be able to do 3D carvings as well. So depending on which market you're trying to hit, um, you know, that, that's kind of up to you whether you need a laser engraver or a CNC from the versatility aspect. So now let's go to the last part, the overall aspect of the laser engraver is CNC. Now, to me personally, the laser is a much easier option, maybe a lower cost option over time for you to get into, whereas a CNC is going to be a little more difficult um, to learn. You have a longer learning curve. It's going to be maybe a little higher cost to get into it. You know, if you mess up on a CNC, you're breaking bits, whereas you mess up on a laser, you're not really breaking too many things. So the learning curve on a CNC is going to be a lot higher than a laser engraver. But with that being said, my personal opinion, what is easier for you or me is not, is, is tip, sorry, what is easier for me is also easier for you, okay? So if the barrier to entry on a laser engraver is pretty easy to use, um, it's low cost, and the learning curve is low, well then there's going to be a lot more people in the world that have laser engravers. Therefore, you have a lot more competition if you actually want to make money with a laser engraver. Now once again, if you just want to mark stuff, um, and, and do your own things or do something for family and friends, then that's okay. But if you're getting into it to start a business, just because it's easy to learn for you does mean it's easier to learn for everybody else. Whereas a CNC, in my personal opinion, is much harder to learn and grasp the whole entire concept of CNC machining. I mean, they have a college for CNC machining, right? So it's a two-year degree. So it's not easy to learn how to properly CNC machine. Therefore, it's a bigger barrier to entry for competitors if you're actually getting into the CNC world to make money. Now, if you're doing it, once again, for family and friends, then you're fine. Just know it's going to be a lot longer learning curve than what a laser engraver would do. Granted, they're two different machines, two totally different businesses, but you know the CNC overall is a harder machine to learn how to run and use whereas a laser engraver is more pick and plug. So with that being said, I hope this video helped. I hope you came away with more knowledge than when you started. If you want anything else from me, please leave that in the comments in the comment section below. Give this video a like and remember if you ain't cutting it close, you ain't cutting it right.